he made a pit and digged it and is fallen into the ditch which he made. Shalom. First off, give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahshai Bashem Makar Kadash. The honor to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Salute and honor to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are during in truth and sincerity in the women and the children who follow. So uh, that was uh, Psalm 7 and uh, 15. I'll go ahead and repeat it. It says, He made a pit and digged it and is fallen to the ditch which he made. And this is talking about E, the so called white man. All right. And as you can see, this lesson, what we're going to be talking about is finances, uh, mainly how these uh, stimulus checks um, are leading to further and further decline of the, the economy. Um, also, we're going to be going into uh, the universal health care and the, uh, the different debt clocks because, I mean, we know that the U.S. is $28 trillion in debt, but we're going to get some context to that just so that you can see um, how big that number is comparable to uh, other places around the world. So uh, we're going to uh, finish this. It says, verse 16, his mischief shall return. Oh, slack you. So the, the, the pit that's being dig right now that we're speaking about is, is his debt. All right. He's digging it. He's digging it. He's digging it in order to do what? To bring in his new world order in order to crash this dollar so that he could bring in the market of beasts and pretty much rule the society. But he don't know that he's, he's in a trick bag. All right. The most high got him in a trick bag. He's thinking that he's doing this to pull himself up. But really. He's he's building a foxhole, you know. He's gonna bury himself in this in this uh this ditch that he's digging. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own uh pay. So he's gonna receive. He's thinking that he's gonna, you know, come out at the better at the end of this thing. But he's just deceiving himself. Says I will praise the Lord according to His righteousness, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord, the, the name of the you know Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahshai the Most High. Okay, all praise and our glory goes to the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahshai for this because, like I said, he, he he thinks that he's uh so far ahead of the game, but you know you can you can only do for the Most High, not against it. So first thing I want to jump into, um. Let's get one of these articles. So we we know that we have stimulus. You know, you got the the three stimulus checks that we've already gotten, um, and they're talking about doing more. All right, there's this is from um, wwlp.com. It's a pretty sure it's a a local news. Um, website and somewhere around the country. Um, this is from March 31st. It's like it. It says, uh, Democratic lawmakers are pushing for monthly stimulus checks for the next economic recovery package. 21 state Democrats, including Elizabeth Warren, wrote to President Joe Biden urging him to include recurring direct payments. Uh, they are also calling for an extension of jobless benefits as the economy recovers from the pandemic. So what they're wanting to do is to feed the economy a consistent amount of money. Cause you know, they did the, what was it like 1200, uh, you know, last spring. And then, uh, in the winter, they gave us another 600, and then they they just gave us the fourteen hundred. So, what they're wanting to do, which is these are trillions of dollars at a time that they're doing these economic stimulus bills. So in the past year and a half, you know they upped the the, the debt, you know by about three trillion. A debt that was already at twenty five, you know trillion about twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty twenty nine. 
you know, trillion, there's no coming back from that. And cause keep in mind, you that's a trillion in one watt. And you still have to fund the government. You still have to pay all the bills, so to speak. This is how you get that far in debt. This is how you crash an economy. This is how you um, hyper... uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Hyperinflate a, a currency. So... Like I said, they're going with the the monthly stimulus. They're wanting to do monthly stimulus checks, which is going to, you know, basically put the the debt clock on steroids because you're going to be giving out money after money after money after money after money after money. Essentially, printing that much money is going to make the money worth nothing. It's going to make it useless. And you're actually... um, by doing that, you're 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 tricking the people. Matter of fact, let's get that uh, precept real quick. Yeah, this is Sirach chapter twenty, verse twenty nine. It says, "Presence and gift blind the eyes of the wise, and stop his mouth uh, that he cannot reprove." Fuck <coughs> you. So, you know that that gift. Of a monthly stimulus check is blinding the eyes of the people, whether they're wise or not, is definitely going to blind their eyes because, and it's also going to get them used to it. You're getting them used to your your to your um your handouts. That way, when they go to take it away, or when when they go to introduce this market to be system. You're going to comply with it because you're used to getting this handout. You don't want to lose this extra money. You become dependent on it. You know? And not only that, they also want to give, you know, like $300 a month to every child. You know? So, I mean, I know chicks with three day, with three baby daddies and eight kids. <laughs> you know? And you're going to give her $300 for each one of them joints? Of course she's going to take it. A month? After already, after she's already gotten, you know, tens of thousands of dollars in stimulus money. <laughs> and what you're doing, you're actually, you're rewarding her bad, bad behavior. But that's a whole nother, you know, topic. But, um, the point is, they're lulling you to sleep. Which also is going to lead to my, my next point. You know, because you're so used to getting all this money. And getting it on in a regular shape, form, and fashion, it's going to lead to this. And this is from uh, the Sequi, the Sequin Gazette. It says Bill kickstarts effort for state universal health care. Now, if you don't know what universal health care is, it means every citizen gets a set amount of money every month to spend, all right, to take care of themselves, and that's what this is going towards. Which is really socialism, but uh, you know it's, it's rolling towards that universal health care because everyone that way everyone is equal. Everyone has an opportunity to you know survive in this in this in this uh, landscape or the, in this setting that we're in in this in this pandemic. But that's not the American way. The American way is free enterprise, you know. The American way is, you know, you either get it how you live, all right, if if I can come up and you can't, then oh, well, that's too bad for you. If I know how to make a million dollars, if I can take my money and flip it and make a billion dollars, and, you know, you take your, your peanuts and you spend it on whatever, then that's just how it is. That's how it's always been in America. But this universal health care is a whole nother a whole nother spirit. It says a bill is under construction now in the state legislator, uh, fuck it, in the state legislator, uh, legislature, uh, <laughs> legislator establishes a healthcare commission to develop a comprehensive plan for publicly funded healthcare. So, 
Slocky, this is not the article that I was looking for. Give me one moment. Yeah, that's my fault. Uh, I can I do uh, apologize, Slocky, for uh, for the mix up. It's not universal health care that I wanted to speak about. It's universal basic income. Okay, so again, we'll go back over it. Universal basic income. Um. Is basically giving everyone uh, an income that matches each other so that everyone has a chance, basically, to um, survive in the economy, all right? So if all the jobs were taken away, everyone would have a wage that they were given or uh, something similar to that effect so that everyone basically is making the same amount of money. And you and they say that this will solve you know the homeless crisis and um, other other BS like that. You know you got to watch out for uh, for E when he says you know he's trying to do something for somebody for uh, for good purposes. Um, says the economists welcome the chance to see whether giving people. Oh, it's like, let me start back. This is actually from last year. It says, pandemic speeds largest test yet of universal basic income. Economists welcome the chance to see whether giving people cash to spend however they choose uh, improves livelihoods. Because that's what we're getting with the stimulus. You know, you're getting a chance to see exactly this. If we give you some cash to spend, how how is that going to improve your life? How is it going to work for you? Says Spain government has uh, started what just might be uh, remembered as the world's biggest economic experiment on June fifteenth, uh, spurred by the C nineteen crisis. Its economic fallout, um, and its economic fallout, it launched a website offering monthly payments of up to one thousand one hundred forty five U S dollars to the nation's poorest families. The program would support. 850,000 households is the largest yet test of an idea called universal basic income in which people are given cash payments each month to spend however they choose. It's been offered, it's like it's been often discussed, uh, but never satisfactorily tested and economists around the world are watching closely to see what the impact of the scheme uh, on livelihoods will be. The move comes as at the time of unprecedented economic turmoil brought on by the C-19 pandemic. Um, Spain was one of the hardest hit countries in the early days of the pandemic. Uh, the nationwide lockdown curbed the spread of the V, but came at a staggering financial price. Many of the people lost their jobs as the economy shrank rapidly, putting many of the most vulnerable citizens at risk. So there you go. Um, when they say peace and safety, then let me, let me get that real quick. First Thessalonians 5 and 3, it says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So, you know, you got to watch them, like I said, when they start talking that, that peace and safety stuff. says, if there's ever an opportunity to try to push for some sort of income floor that can be paid out in cash to people, this is the time to do it. Damon Jones, of the uh, econ an, an economist at the University of Chicago in Illinois. Uh, let me see if I can get to it. It says, even before the C-19 struck, the country's left-leaning coalition, the, the, the country's left-leaning coalition government had proposed the scheme, a variant of the universal basic income called guaranteed minimum income. So basically, you're going to have a guaranteed minimum amount of money coming in each month. All right, you can still work and get more. You can still hustle, do your investing or whatnot. But the minimum amount of money that you're going to have in your household is going to be what we give you. Okay. And this is, like I said, it's spoon-feeding the people. It's getting them used to this idea of free handouts. What are them who go down to Egypt? All right, you're, you're getting spoon-fed 
You're giving these presents to blind you, uh, to blind the eyes of the wise, so that when they switch it up, and you know we, they roll out with this market to be system, and the 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 zoom zooms and the wow wows are even more so. Then they got you, because if they giving you you know fourteen hundred, they giving you fourteen hundred, then they giving you three hundred for every kid that you got each month. And then they say, okay, well, this dollar system has crashed. You know, we've been trying to help you guys. This dollar has crashed. We're moving to, to cryptocurrency. We're moving to Bitcoin. But in order for you to keep your Bitcoin, you have to... <coughs> fuck you. You have to get this chip. And all money is going to be on this chip. And we're going to start everyone off with five Bitcoins. And now... Bitcoin didn't rose to 300,000 per Bitcoin. You know, so now everyone is essentially a millionaire if they want to take this. And you mean to tell me these people ain't going to take it? These people will rather. When when you mean to tell me that these people when offered a chance to be a, a millionaire. Or to be ostracized in society and can't participate at all. Can't feed their children, can't clothe themselves, can't house themselves, can't work. That they would rather take that route than to be a millionaire. These people ain't built for that. They've been buttered up by the government. All right, we live in this plastic society. Okay, the righteous is already looked down on. The righteous is not going to take it. The righteous is ready to, to walk that walk. Because through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yashai, we've been uh, preparing the people, and Yahweh Hashem Yashai has been preparing us. So we're waiting on this domino to drop. Like I said, he, the ditch is being dig right now. We know that he's going to fall into the pit. So I mean, I'm gonna leave these uh, in the description. Um, it's getting kind of long in the tooth, so I just wanted to go over this last little area, and then. Um, Kind of get these last precepts that I wanted to, to get. So we have the the U.S. debt clock is currently at man. Let me let me pull it up because the visual is way better. Bear with me. All right, so this is the. U.S. debt clock. You see, we're twenty-eight trillion in debt as a country. Okay, so let's compare this to other societies here. This is the Australian debt clock. Seven trillion. Four times less. Okay, so you can see the difference. Oh, hold on, slock you. I said seven trillion. I do apologize. Yeah, yeah, that's seven trillion. That's seven trillion. So four times less than than the U.S. debt. Bear with me. Now, the European debt clock is different. It shows for the different countries. There are two trillion for Germany, not even a trillion, 376 billion for Greece. And when I was going through this, one thing that kind of stuck out to me is that, <coughs> you know, the pigs nations, Portugal, Ireland, uh, Portugal, Ireland, Italy, Greece, and Spain, you know, while they do have some, some considerable debt, like Portugal, you know what I'm saying, is uh, at a, a trillion, and Italy is two trillion, you know, but Greece, Greece is only 376 billion, <coughs> so I can't. Ireland, two hundred twenty-four billion. 
even though these are the the um the weak links, these are the the um partly strong and partly weak. These are the partly weak. <coughs> Lock it. In that statue, their debt isn't anywhere near the debt that the U.S. is in. The EU as a total is only ten trillion. It's like it. Still three times less than the United States. So you can see how far Babylon is gone compared to the other world. There's no coming back. If Europe is ten trillion in debt, how is the whole world? that's another <laughs> that's another thing, you know, that we're gonna have to go into pretty soon. The United States <coughs> fuck you. The United States is twenty nine trillion in debt. Uh the EU ten trillion. Australia seven trillion. Everyone else is trillions of dollars in debt. To who? Because that means somebody this money is owed. Some somebody has has to get payment for this. <coughs> And it's the those elite banking families. All right, so I got one more. Yeah, can't 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 forget this one. Um, this is a uh, Habakkuk chapter two, uh, verse six. It says, "And shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe unto woe to him that increaseth that which is not his? How long?" Then him that laid it for himself with thick clay. That thick clay is I bought you up. It means debt. <coughs> Slocky, oh my God. Forgive me. But um it's all about it's all about that debt turning into a reason to introduce the mark of the beast. And like we've been saying, when they make their move. That's when the most high is gonna make his move. And since I'm here, I'm gonna read uh Habakkuk two and three. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And with that being said, we give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahshai Bashem Karkadash, the honor to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are during the truth and sincerity and the women and the children who follow. Shalom.